Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Dr. John Tyus. I'm the founder of the ID Movement and also Tyus Consulting. Um, I'm so excited that you have joined us on today. Uh, we have a very, very special guest. Um, everybody says special guest, but this is a very, very unique situation. Um, I'm so honored. Uh, but before we do that and I introduce her, I want you to make sure you like and you share the video here on our YouTube page. Make sure you subscribe as well. Um, there's a lot of things that we have coming up and I want you to be a part of it. So make sure you're liking the video. Please make sure you're sharing it with your friends because this is a conversation that I believe everybody needs to hear. Um, everybody wants to become healthier and become better and become a better version of themselves. And this is one of the ways to do it. So I'm excited. Make sure you like, you comment. I want to see your comments. Uh, if you have any questions, let's drop them in the chat box and also share the video as well. Uh, again, thank you so much for joining us. We have a special guest, the great uh, Miss Patsy Bowman, uh, also known as Mrs. Dr. Sebi. Uh, we're so excited about having her here with us today. A lot of people don't know, but you were supposed to join us for our conference that we were having um, next week, uh, the ID Movements Conference. That was actually supposed to be a surprise, um, but I'm excited that we were able to land an interview with you. Um, that I'm very excited about. How are you today? <laughs> I'm not as good as you folks, but I'm I'm doing. <laughs> oh, I'm, awesome. I, I am honored to be uh, on your program. Thank you so much for inviting me. No, absolutely. The honor is definitely mine and, and the people that will watch this and watch the replay. Again, thank you so much for joining us. How was your day? Let's Let's start there. How was your day? Oh, it was wonderful. I spent the day with my little sister, one of my little sisters, and uh -huh. it was a great day. It was a great day. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. That's awesome. So uh, let's start it off. So for the people that don't know who even Dr. Sabi is, could you uh, enlighten the people as to who he was, please? Well, uh, my husband uh, has had... Um, Alfredo Bowman, a.k.a. Dr. Sebi, won a case in the Supreme Court of New York since 1988, proving to cure AIDS, cancer, uh, diabetes, herpes, lupus, blindness, paralysis, etc. And um, that's what we've been doing over the years. Wow. Wow. So, so you've been keeping up the mission uh, that he, he started. That is phenomenal. That is phenomenal. So, so he cured all of these diseases and people try to say, oh, I don't know. I don't know. But you obviously knowing him better than us. <laughs> well, we've been doing this happen. for almost 40 years. So, um, you know, my husband does all the talking, but you know, it is the wife in the kitchen who does all the making of the room. So come yeah. on now. <laughs> so, so how did that begin? How did that even start? Talk to us about it. Well, uh, actually, when I met him, uh, I actually met him uh, going to uh, a job in uh, St. Croix where mm -hmm. um, he, the both of us was going for the same engineering job uh, in oh. St. Croix with uh, Hess. And this was like mm -hmm. uh, almost 40 years ago. However, uh -huh. we didn't go to the interview. And we end up uh, staying on um, on the on the uh, port of um, Frederickstead in Saint mm -hmm. Croix, and we just didn't go to the interview, and that mm -hmm. you know started the whole journey with us. Wow! So you you just was sitting on the uh, dock or pier and just chilling and just talking and having a good time, yeah. huh? Yeah. That is awesome. Going for the same engineer job, huh? Yes, actually, I was into electrical engineering, and he is in. Mm -hmm. He was into steam engineering. Wow! So there was this opening at Hess in uh, Saint Croix, and we were actually going for the same job, but we didn't go to that interview that morning. We mm -hmm. stayed and talked and um, smoked a joint on the waterfront, and <laughs> okay, <laughs> and, uh, you know that was uh, our meeting. First, wow. you know, first, yeah. Well, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool, right? So, so what, what caused you to want to get into uh, just the field of holistic health and herbs and, and doing better for your body? 
because it's real you know yeah. it is um empirical evidence and it is mm -hmm. real you know uh it is true when they say the herbs are for the healing of the nation it is true mm. yeah uh, what happened to us is that we have um, gone off track and we believe in man as opposed to you know what is natural or native rather um, mm -hmm. for us to, to heal by using artificial um, foods and medicines etc wow so I'm, I'm sure you've seen a, a, a lot of things over the years of, of doing oh, yeah. this. Uh, could you share a story with us about um, one of your uh, craziest stories concerning seeing somebody well, sick and then, yeah. There are so many, you know. Uh -huh. um, uh, and there's one with, um, you know, diabetes. And mm -hmm. um, his sugar went down so low within a within a couple um, within a few days, I had to tell him to go by his neighbor and get a spoonful of sugar, so he mm. can ingest that because his sugar went down so very low, so quickly, mm -hmm. you know. And now he doesn't take any medication for uh, diabetes mm. because one of the things with uh, diabetes, it's not that you're not producing the insulin. It is the fact that your pancreatic duct is clogged up with mm -hmm. the same mucus and inflammation and toxins. So your insulin that your body produced cannot pass through the ducts. So we mm -hmm. unclog that, replenish the, um, the duct with the minerals it needs, which is like uh, chromium. And, mm -hmm. and then there goes uh, the so-called diabetes, whether it's type 1, 2, or you know, pancreatic cancer. Mm. Wow. So I, I personally, obviously, I, I know a lot of people that suffer with diabetes and, and knowing this information, a lot of people don't know that as to what could help them out. So um, thank you for sharing that. So out of all of your years of working with people with different sicknesses and diseases, what's probably the most common disease that you've probably seen or saying this is a, I'm always seeing this one, this type of situation. Uh, herpes, diabetes, cancer, um, mm. uh, HIV, AIDS, mm -hmm. you know, these are not our diseases, actually. It is, mm -hmm. okay, for instance, let me explain with AIDS. It's acquired immune deficiency syndrome. So now, mm -hmm. if you take a look at that, you would want to know what did our um, system acquire for it to become deficient? Yeah. It is the mucus, the inflammation, the toxins, the acid. And how did it get there? It was not running around in the air and you catch it. It is mm -hmm. from the foods that we've been taught to eat. We have to unlearn what it is they tell us we need to eat. Wow. Okay. So you're talking about a lot of it is obviously through the foods that yes, we eat. Everything you find at the supermarket, because everything oh. in there will keep you in a stupor. Wow. Everything you find in the supermarket will keep you in a stupor. Wow. That's powerful. That's powerful. So my father was one person. He, he passed from colon cancer and it's been an issue in our family of colon cancer. And so um, do you have any thoughts on what we should get rid of or things like that? In the, yes. In the case of cancer, you know, I know some people um, right now it's um you know, it's something popular where people are ingesting peroxide. Mm -hmm. I have two clients whose um, digestive tract from the mouth to the anus is torn right now because the only thing that you can use peroxide for is to wash your clothes. Mm. In order to remove cancer from the body, we need to remove the environment that is causing the body or the cells actually to proliferate abnormally. There is no other way. We have to remove the inflammation, the mucus, the toxins, uh, the, the acid especially, that is causing your cells to behave like that. Mm. That is the only way to, and also replace the minerals that's deficient. It is the only way to cure cancer. Wow. That's, that's, that's powerful. That's powerful. This is the type of stuff that we don't, obviously here um obviously because i'm sure money is attached to us not knowing um so we have people like you 
um, that that are here to help us, you know, better ourselves in, in that way. So thank you so much for that, for sure. Um, so what about things like lupus? I heard lupus before. A lot of that causes situations. How do we deal with things like like that? Lupus, you're saying? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Well, lupus is inflammation of the connective tissue. It is the mm -hmm. same uh, uh, inflammation and mucus we have to remove from your system. Mm -hmm. Now, we do have a therapy program which begins to remove the inflammation, mucus, toxins or so from the cellular level, removing that and simultaneously uh, purifying your blood, strengthening your lymphatic system and your skin. We need, mm -hmm. you know, it's, so it's just not one herb that would do it. We have mm -hmm. to remove uh, the environment of the body from an acidous one to an alkaline one. Meaning, first of all, you must change your diet. Or, mm -hmm. you know, they call it diet or whatever, but we need to change, unlearn how uh, they, we were taught to eat. Mm -hmm. so because we do not need any protein or vitamins. That's a lie. Okay, uh, so we don't need certain proteins and certain vitamins. What, what are some things that we, um, that you've seen in our culture, have seen people take that uh, is very damaging to us? Egg, milk, cheese, butter, meat, you know, mm -hmm. um, you know, rewarding ourselves uh, after work by going to Mac Death and Murder King. You know, these things hurt us. Macbeth and Murder King. Wow. Macbeth and Murder King. I have yes, never I heard did. that before. <laughs> <laughs> Macbeth or Murder King. Wow. Okay, that's 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 something to hear. Okay. So so we do reward ourselves to do that. A lot of us yeah. especially us because yeah. you don't want to take the time to prepare something that would not hurt you. You you go at these uh, fast food places, and that's not mm -hmm. excluding um, killing African community either, or sick filet or um, sick white filet, casket, white know? casket. Oh exactly. my goodness! Wow, so somebody said uh, murder king. Take a few minutes, yes. Take a few minutes and prepare something that would not hurt you. Yeah. But if you are ingesting minerals. That is mm -hmm. not going to hurt you. You would find you're not as hungry, and that certainly uh, helps. Wow. Okay, that's 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 good to know. Um, so we we reward ourselves with those types of things, especially in this this country. We we have a. You say what? Our babies, you know, I, 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 sometimes when I talk to adults, they say, well, you know, my son likes his Burger King and his fries and, and, and he likes his pizza. Look, this four-year-old does not drive a car and he's not working any place. And mm -hmm. trust me, if he stays hungry for 48 hours, he's not going to die. Right. Which, which leads me to another point, fasting, right? Exactly. Uh, I have been yeah. fasting for, this is my... 44 day and 43 nights longer than Jesus Christ. Wow. Now I've fasted. I, I, I because I'm a I'm a pastor. I've I fasted. I very believe very much so in fasting. I, I love to fast and I've I've realized some of the benefits of fasting is your energy, your clarity of your mind, um, uh, even the healing of your body. In, of course. In a, yeah. Of because it, it allows your cells to absorb the oxygen it needs. You know, when we die, we don't die from the diseases we were diagnosed with. We die from the inability to, um, to uh, deliver oxygen to the cells. That's how mm. we die. So in, when you fast, you will find that your, your, your body now is able to absorb oxygen. The true mm -hmm. life of yourselves wow wow yeah yeah like uh, sometimes i so it, it, like the life that you're mentioning like i would feel very much drained at times and then even if i go on a seven day just water fast right I, people would think that that would kill you or you would be damaged or whatnot but actually i'm sharper 
um, in my mind, my energy is higher um, after the seven days. And it's almost like I don't want to come off of it because I feel convicted yes, if I do. Sure. I feel like if I don't want to eat anymore because yeah. now your cells are, are, are absorbing the oxygen it really needs, which is the true life form. You know, mm -hmm. it's oxygen, it's water, it's sunshine and herbs, actually. Yeah. Know? I do take my herbs, however. Mm -hmm. You know, so you, you, I'm not hungry, I'm not tired, I'm not, you know, listless. So, you know, this would be yeah. good if you fasting. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. That was one of my points was, was, was that piece about fasting. I'm so happy you touch on it. Um, somebody just said, what do you suggest eating instead of protein or in place of? Minerals. Minerals. Because you're, okay, let me show you. For your blood, don't you need iron? Mm -hmm. Even though it has to be a proper structure of iron now, it has to be iron fluorine or the phosphate of iron. You know, mm -hmm. it has to be an iron that, um, that your body can digest or your body can absorb. But that's not a protein or a vitamin, it's a mineral. For your bones, mm -hmm. you need calcium, magnesium, but it still has to be a proper structure of that. It cannot be grinded up rock. Mm -hmm. A plant is the only thing that has the ability to absorb the minerals from rocks and metals to put it in a digestible substance so that we can utilize it in our bodies. Yeah. So I hear like the raw form is the best form. The raw Actually, form. Actually, yeah, I know people talk about raw food and, and I agree with raw food or so. Uh, I'm from the Caribbean, so I like my food cooked. If the food you're using, <laughs> right. yeah, I like taste, I like pepper and salt. Come on now. Yeah. Salt and stuff. So if the food or herb or fruit you're using, if it is a native one, whether you cook it or burn it to an ash or you mm -hmm. use it raw, you will still get the minerals you need from it or the benefits. Really? Yes. Wow. That's that's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. So what do you think is the difference between a vitamin and a herb? In well, a sense? A vitamin, tells, vitamin tells you what it is. It's vital, meaning... Uh, um, life and then it, it's the minimum amount of life so if you want to nourish your body why are you taking the minimum amount yeah yeah that's true that's true wow so so i see um i have more questions people are popping up with questions but so when you're dealing with uh let's say um certain foods right um what are some of the best foods that you should be eating um what would you suggest for the for the body? It has to be a native one. For instance, um, Mexicans eat uh, nopales in the morning. Nopal, which is a cactus, it's very mm -hmm. high in iron, and that is a great food you can have for breakfast. Mm -hmm. in, in the West Indies, we eat um, what Jamaicans call kalalu. In Trinidad, they call it baji. It really is the amaranth green. Or mm. you can just drink two coconuts and drink, eat the jelly in the morning for breakfast. Wow. So eat actual coconuts. People, they, they talk yes. about the health you benefits. Drink the coconut. Not, uh, now, there are artificial coconuts as well. So you have to be sure that you have a natural coconut. They have started infiltrating the islands now with this short uh, coconut tree, and it's kind of yellow. Um, but you need the tall ones and the coconut looks green but it's actually ready so you drink the water and you eat the jelly it, after having two coconut waters and you eat the jelly you would not be hungry wow I, I so i've definitely had coconut water before and it's extremely refreshing um yes. from the actual islands but uh and i love it but you like actually can you say eat the jelly or it's like pieces yes, of you that you can cut out of it and eat it yeah. Mm -hmm. And when it's dry, you can take that same jelly and make milk, coconut milk with the nuts. Yeah. Mm, so is that where they get coconut milk from? Yeah. Right there. Huh? Yeah. Wow. Wow. So you pretty much said when it came to foods, trying to stay away from things like dairy. Right. Yes, because it's an animal product. The uh, dairy yeah. is for for the for the cow's babies it's not for you 
That car <laughs> produce milk for their car. Yeah. You're better off sucking um someone's breast milk because mm -hmm. that's human milk. That's for you instead of the cow's milk. Wow. Wow. So, but you can use nut milk. You know, uh, yeah. hemp, seeds, hemp seeds is a good uh, source of milk, um, which is the marijuana seeds. Um, mm -hmm. You can use uh, coconut milk we talked about. Now, some folks are allergic to almonds, but some people can use it. Mm -hmm. And you got walnuts, you got um, Brazil nuts. You can just put that in your blender and pour some water in there and liquefy. And you have pure milk that would not hurt you. Now, water. Is there specific types of water that we as people should be drinking more of? or Spring water. 100% spring water. Okay. Not uh, reverse osmosis, not distilled, not um, purified water. Um, you know, just 100% spring water. That would be the water to drink. Because I've seen certain waters. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah. And water is nature's greatest solvent. So you want to make sure that you're drinking a lot of it. You know, we bathe every day outside of our body, but we never think about bathing the inside. And you need at least one gallon of water per day. Spring water. Wow. Wow. Because this, uh, tell me if I'm wrong. I've, I've realized from drinking different waters that sometimes it, it some of them seem more acidic than others in a weird way. I don't, well, is we that just to stick with the alkaline water as opposed to acidic water? Because remember, we're trying to make our body alkaline, which brings, um, which gives you healing of your cells, proliferation of cells, which would be healthy. But mm -hmm. um, so you have to change the body from acid to alkaline. You cannot um, actually um, use uh, acid to change the body from acid to alkaline. Okay. Okay, so somebody just said, just curious, why would you suggest just spring water or spring water? Right? Excuse me, what the question was? Uh, why spring water? Just because curious. it's a natural water coming from a from a spring. Yeah. So I, that would I would recommend that opposed to any water. Certainly, mm -hmm. do not use tap water. I wish I didn't have to bathe in tap water. That's how mm. dangerous. Okay. Uh, thank you for the information. Now, uh, what about, so we had this, this obviously sickness going around um, COVID, COVID-19. And COVID-19 uh, has taken a lot of our family members away from us, friends from us. Um, actually, my um, two of my aunts passed in the same, a week from each other from it back in May. Uh, so, but it attacks the respiratory system. And a lot of people are talking about building their immune system, but what is the right way to, to properly build your immune system? What are some herbs that you can take? Um, what are some teas that you can drink? Um, things that will really build your uh, ability to fight back if anything was to attack you. Yes, um, actually um, the COVID, so it's uh, your, it, it is the same mucus and toxins that's calcifying in your lungs, especially. Uh, yeah. coagulating your blood so you have blood clots but if mm -hmm. you begin to drink teas like uh, maybe stinging nettle um, burdock sarsaparilla elderberry the mm -hmm. berries and the flower you know uh, and some ginger uh, key limes you know these things are going to help um, uh, dissolve the inflammation break yeah. up the calcification and strengthen you your immune yeah. system Okay. Um, so I've also heard. Can use. Yeah. Turmeric. Uh, is that a good one? I will not recommend turmeric for internal use. Okay. 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 So not turmeric, but different things like elderberry and um, yeah. ginger. Uh, definitely does. Elderberry, sarsaparilla, uh, stinging <laughs> nettle. Um, mm -hmm. In the islands, if you're there, you can use strong back or maker which is like an iron root you know mm -hmm. you can use congo root or animu they call it that helps mm -hmm. with, with your breathing you know mullen all these plants are good for your lungs and you can use these make it 
uh, a strong tease. Or you can just go to my website. It's already made. Um, it's already made. <laughs> yes. Just go. It's so everybody done. watching, just, just go to her website. Go to her website. It's already taken care of. <laughs> yes. Well, we that's cool. What, what is that website? Um, you can go to nextgenherbalproducts.com mm -hmm. or you can go to internationalherbalproducts.com. You can be assured that you will get our original compounds developed by my husband and I. Beautiful, beautiful. Now, what about sea moss? You hear that all the time. Everybody's talking about sea moss. Um, it is one of the greatest plants on the planet. Wow. You know, it has about 92 minerals or even more, which we haven't uh, even uh, researched on yet. But um, it nourishes every cell in the body. Mm -hmm. And it is a good thing that you can, if you use it three times a day, you'll find your body begin to be um, renewed, actually. And you know, it's West Indian Viagra. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Any, any Trini, any Trinidadian man, they drink that in the morning for sure. Because wow. it, is like, it is like West Indian Viagra. Instead of okay. using Viagra, you can use Seamoss. Wow, that's something new. Okay, that's... that's it's that's not new, new, it's old. We just haven't heard about it yet, but you can definitely... Okay, we had our generation, you know how we are. We, we're learning all this new stuff, these millennial, millennials, rather. We're learning all this stuff, so... Yes, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> so, as far as vegetables... What is a good vegetable? What are what would you say is your top five vegetables? I would say amaranth, um, amaranth green, which Jamaicans call callaloo, and we call it baji in our islands in Trinidad. Mm -hmm. um, I would think um, asparagus, um, burdock root. Um, mm. That's three. Um, uh, I don't know how you call that. Um, we call it, um, it's like a natural potato. We call it uh, Christophine. I mm -hmm. forgot the name they call it here in, in the US. It's like, an, it's a natural potato. You just steam it. Um, so that's four. And five, I will think um, as a vegetable, uh, maybe long, uh, the long green beans, you can use that, you know, something oh, okay. palatable that people think is palatable. Yeah. <laughs> I love yeah. green beans, asparagus, all that's great. <laughs> yeah, for yeah. sure. So, what about vegetables that we should probably stay away from? Because some people think any vegetable is a good vegetable, but. Well, all vegetables aren't really good, especially, um, you know, some people think that, um, that beets. Uh, mm. natural, but beets are loaded with lead, so you stay away from that. Uh, carrots is pure carbonic acid, it's starchy. Um, cassava, you know, this ground vegetable, mm -hmm. or what, uh, you know, in Latin America, they call it yuca, it's loaded with cyanide, and there's mm -hmm. one that grows in Jamaica called aki, please stay away from that. They made that especially Maroons, you know, depopulation didn't start now with with the, this COVID pandemic. Right, it was right. a long time ago. So, um, don't use ackee. Please stop using ackee and saltfish. Okay, it would actually hurt you, especially your reproductive organs. I've got young kids in their forties, and they cannot even have an erection. And I'm not talking about just the male; also the female. Mm. So stop wow. using that. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's so some people. It's a pretty plant. Just use it for decoration. Do not ingest it. Okay. Okay. What about broccoli? There's no block broccoli patch anywhere in any jungle. You can use. Um, my <laughs> husband never recommended, and um, you know, for instant gratification, you know, but you can't use it for nourishment because it cannot do that. Um, broccoli or cauliflower. Now they got broccoli flower. Kids being born mm. now think that that's natural. You know, yeah. uh, when I was little, they didn't even have anything like that. Yeah. So, um, no, it's and no good at all. But, you know, sometimes I would, um, 
like if you know you go to your family's barbecue, you can barbecue some broccoli or cauliflower, mm-hmm. or you make some wingless wings with cauliflower. You know, oh. but um, wingless it's not wings. something that you would use for a nourishment. It's like for an instant gratification. Mm-hmm. Somebody says no. Don't say that about broccoli. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't love you. Uh, it doesn't love, love you. Cheese. I love cheese, mm. but I haven't had cheese in like forty uh, something years. It mm. don't love you. So we should stop loving stuff that doesn't love us. Right. Exactly. Wow. So cheese, no cheese. They they have some vegan cheese out there though. Yeah, it's less dangerous. That's all I can say. Don't be eating okay. it like it's gonna give you some nourishment. Just you know, every now and then, if you wanna uh, bake, uh, you know, like some vegetable lasagna pie or something. Mm-hmm. You know, vet, you make vegetable lasagna. You can use the vegan cheese to mm-hmm. you know, put on it, so you get that. But it's really not something to nourish you. Wow! It's, uh, it's just an instant gratification for a moment. Yeah. And wow. then please take your herbs after, so you can move it out of your system as quickly as possible. So that that's the gut health that you're talking about, right? Yes. Moving stuff out the way, right? Okay. Yes. Wow. Well, that's cool. That's cool. So um, I think that's good. I, I, I think that was good. This was a power pack, 32 minutes of conversation with the great Patsy Bowman. Thank you so much for your time. I'm just going to throw a couple of terms at you, and I want you to tell me the first thing that pops in your mind. First thing that just pops in your mind, okay? Dr. Sabi. Well, he was... Um... One of the greatest, uh, or I would say, uh, renowned herbal uh, healer, and mm-hmm. he had a great gift of garb. So, um, mm. it was my husband for so many years, and we had a child together as well. And we were mm-hmm. still married when he passed. And, yeah, um, yeah. So, yeah, wow. he was one you can say one of the greatest. Um, uh, informers and he always called himself he he was the messenger he says mm. messenger. Uh, it's the female who is the healer oh i love that i love that i love that that's true because a lot a lot of these celebrities follow him now and follow you in um writing putting documentaries and things together because uh it's, it's impacted our generation so much as far as millennials yes. for sure um patsy bowman first thing that comes to mind <laughs> A.K.A. Mrs. Dr. Savy, you know, yes. when people talk about uh, Dr. Savy, well, I'm the Mrs. Dr. Savy who I uh, actually made the herbs that mm-hmm. is healing folks. And I, love I still it. do that, and I taught our daughter as well. Her mm-hmm. name is uh, Zave Bowman, and, mm-hmm. um, and I taught her as well to make these herbs. She has also developed... Uh, a children's formula called Very, Very Good Kids. Yeah, that was actually something I wanted to ask you. If, yeah. What do we do with our children that are very little and, yes. and well, them? Yeah, I guess my daughter has been traumatized with all the bitter stuff she's been taking all her life. So she actually <laughs> developed Very, Very Good Kids for the children where it's a chewable, chewable tablets okay. that you can use that would help their brain and central nerve. We mm-hmm. also still have our banjo, which we now call um, our brain, uh, um, our brain and nerve tonic, mm-hmm. and um, this really helps to keep the kids focused and less agitated. Um, mm. And it's great for adults as well. So, so on that, when you're dealing with children that may deal with certain types of things, is there certain like like mental sicknesses, even even adults? So, um, how does do you, do you have anything for that? Foods or yes. herbs that deal with those type of situations? Very, very good kids for, kid, for kids. Okay. And um, mm-hmm. it deals with ADHD, bipolar, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. mental health, mm-hmm. which is, you know, I think we're in the, in the week of um, mental health information. Mm-hmm. And these are your, you know, brain and mental. We have, we have developed the banjo. 
uh, which now I cannot use because of some legal aspects. I don't know why, because my husband and I developed that in the middle of the night. Mm -hmm. um, it's now called brain and memory, or also our brain and nerve tonic. And mm -hmm. now we have, and we also have for the kids, which is the very, very good kids. Um, mm -hmm. From ADHD to bipolar um, mm -hmm. problems, any kind of mental health problems, even though if it has gone to um, as far as mental health problems, I would recommend a full therapy program. Sure, to sure. The inflammation that is covering the brain and central nerve. Wow. And simultaneously delivering the minerals which we need to uh, restore the brain cells. Wow. Powerful. Powerful. We, did, we, we didn't know that. Thank you so much for sharing that. That's important information. Uh, the last three terms. Um, water. Water is nature's greatest solvent. Mm -hmm. And where more water, sometimes when you're feeling hungry, it really is that you're just thirsty. Mm. And we barely drink water. We drink less than a glass of water per day when you need at least one gallon. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Because our body's I mean, made mostly of spring water, not mm -hmm. tap water, not purified water, not reverse osmosis, not mm -hmm. alkaline water, which they pass through a machine and make. Spring water is already alkaline, 100% spring water. Okay. Wow. That's good. That's good. Um, uh, vegetables. Or banju. Vegetables. Yeah, I think we covered vegetables, like I said, mm -hmm. um, the mm -hmm. amaranth green, which we call baji or kalalu. Um, mm -hmm. I would think asparagus is not as bad. Um, mm -hmm. Chayote, I think, is what they call Christophine. Chayote oh. in Latin America, that's what they call it. It's like a natural potato. Um, mm -hmm. uh, some, some long string beans, it's okay. Mm -hmm. And, um, and and like burdock, you can cook burdock like um, like you're cooking a vegetable. The burdock, burdock, okay. root, burdock root, yeah. It tastes okay. kind of like carrot. Okay, that's good to know. But it, but it would not hurt you the way carrots would. Okay, so uh, another question. So if we 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 talked about how to fight against something like COVID, what if somebody has it? What should they consume? that would help them to try to recover from it? Fasting and a lot of native herbs, like as I um, called before, sarsaparilla, burdock, mm -hmm. even yellow dock, um, stinging nettle, you know, uh, elderberry, mm -hmm. um, the flower and the berries. Gotcha. Okay. Key limes with water. It has to be key limes, not lemons. Got you. Key lime, not lemons. Lemons is always, I've always heard lemon, but it's key yes. lime. What we call lemons in the island is something that's natural. It has a rough skin and it has seeds in it. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's what we call lemon. It's a, like a rough skin orange. Mm -hmm. Kind of, it's kind of bitter, but mm -hmm. uh, it's like medicinal. Mm -hmm. And you'll probably speak about not, not taking place in the, uh, not taking part rather, in the seedless fruits, right? Of course not. If it doesn't have a seed, how did it get there? <laughs> right. <laughs> we just want to be so, we, we hate being inconvenienced. That's our problem, right? We just hate spitting, but, but that's what makes it natural. Exactly. Yeah. Inconvenience you. So you would prefer to jeopardize a, a pound or two of your flesh than to mm. be inconvenienced. Right. Because that's what would happen. It would hurt you eventually. Okay. Wow. Well, uh, Mrs. Dr. Sebi, thank you so much. It, it's it's been an honor. Again, we 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 didn't get a chance to get you to the conference that we're supposed to have, but uh, we're looking for the future, and I, I'm I'm planning on having a lot more with you. So thank you so much. You're quite welcome, and I would be happy to do that. Or we good to give information because we have to unlearn everything we learned about food because mm -hmm. the real food group is oxygen mm. water 
sunshine, herbs, and you can have some fruit and vegetables. Okay. But that's the real food group. Wow. That's the real fruit group. The real fruit group. All right, y'all. Well, thank you all so much for joining us. Please, yet again, um, like the video, share the video, comment, um, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Um, I, I think you'll be blessed by everything that we have coming and things that we've already done. Again, my name is Dr. John Tyus. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Um, and you all have a wonderful, wonderful evening. Thank you, Doc. Thank you. Okay.